G'day mates, mark my words. Over the next two years, AI will completely change this entire industry. From diagnosis to treatment, it's all just data, it's biosignals, and AI was just built for this stuff. Here's Ahmed Anafi, he's the CEO and president of NovaResp, and they're developing the world's first AI-driven automatic CPAP algorithm. Take it away, Ahmed, cheers. Hello everyone. My name is Hamad Hanafi, and I'm the president and founder of Novaris Technologies, where uh, we're aiming to revolutionize uh, the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea with our um, artificial intelligence technology. There has not been an innovation in this market for years and years. I don't know if anybody in the audience knows anyone that uses a CPAP or should be using a CPAP but is avoiding it. My father has severe sleep apnea and doesn't use his machine, and he'd do anything for me and I need his data on that machine, and he does not use his machine. Patients complain about receiving too much air or too little air. These machines are uncomfortable. You don't want to use them. They're plugged to the wall next on your bedside table. Obstructive still happen throughout the night, and it takes the machine 10 to 20 seconds to remove that obstruction. We solve that with our uh, AI technology. We have a software that can be installed on any CPAP machine, it predicts the apnea before it would happen and its type and gently removes it. We use machine learning from data collected from uh, a lot of patients and develop this technology that can predict and prevent apneas gently. We are aiming to, uh, we already have a partner actually to install our software on the generic white label CPAP machine and bring that to market in 2024. And in the meantime, we're also designing our wearable CPAP because our software, our machine learning software, is the basis of innovation in this uh, market. We can drop the power consumption by not needing as much pressure and build wearable CPAPs. Um, to prove this, so far, we've done an observational clinical study. Um, we're also located in Canada, in, in Atlantic Canada. Uh, we did it in the, in the QE2 hospital there, where we collected about 70,000 apneas, when, and we proved that we can predict apneas before they would happen with over 90% accuracy. That's huge. And now we're running a study to show that we can use those predictions to prevent apneas, and the preliminary results are outstanding. We're going to be on that white label CPAP and start our multi-center trials in the beginning of 2023. We have a very aggressive go-to-market strategy, and that's why we're raising uh, to have this uh, CPAP sold in the beginning of 2024, so, uh, and then move on to our generation two. We expect to be in the market and start from Canada because we have an investor that is the largest privately owned uh, CPAP selling company in Canada. Uh, that's our investor and is going to start selling these CPAPs in Canada as of 2024, then we move to US and Europe. While we do want to build a sustainable company with, uh, that provides liquidity to investors via public offering, uh, we understand the expectations and we would not be surprised when noticed by bigger players that we're already talking to uh, of an exit of a 20 to 30x. Thank you very much. G'day mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.